Lady Bird is an instant classic for any cinephile, and especially those who grew up with the mumblecore film movement. Now, it stars Saul Sharon and is the main character, and Laurie Metcalf has her overbearing but loving mother. It's a slice of life dramedy that shows ups and downs of adolescence right at the end of high school. So whatever you do, do not go into this movie thinking that Lady Bird is a title to the next new Marvel movie with some superhero woman that turns herself into a bird. You're going to be disappointed. Like I was. Anyway, you're not going to be disappointed in the great performances in this indie dramedy. Lori Metcalf, uh, Jackie from Roseanne, she gives a really good performance here, uh, Oscar-worthy even. This movie, though, it's not going to win over many of the uh, mainstream audiences. So yeah, this is another film that, uh, not a fan of. You know, if Lady Bird was my obnoxious daughter, she'd have a red backside if you'd catch my drift. You gotta respect your parents, you gotta, you know, respect where you came from, you know what I mean? The focus on dialogue and character over plot may leave some people bored, but the gritty realism and the great performances is why this film is going to be in my top ten. Now, of course, I won't go as far as some other people have been saying and, you know, say it's the best movie of the year because I've already seen better, but this is definitely here a top ten for me. So, this film is kind of called a slice of life. Uh, that's not a spoiler or anything, that just means it kind of starts and then it kind of just ends. That's just the genre that it's in. There's not really a whole lot of suspense in this film. This film here reminded me of Juno and Little Miss Sunshine. There are some moments of fun and some really clever lines that keep you entertained here for the short 90 minute runtime. I'll have to give this film here a solid 9 out of 10. Now, it's not perfect, but it is a great movie for any true film lover. Now, it'll make you recall films of the French New Wave, such as The 400 Blows. So, it, this movie is receiving a lot of praise, and it definitely deserves it. So, it does have some great performances, but I'm gonna have to give this one a 5 out of 10, you know, mainly because it's really slow. The overall slowness of the film just it didn't really work for me, and the fact that I was unfortunately duped by the title kind of still is upsetting. Lady Bird here gets a solid 6 out of 10 for me on the comedy scale. Don't go into it expecting cry, you know, crying laughter, laugh out loud comedy the whole way through. Not gonna happen. Do go into this movie expecting a true, solid, good indie film, and you're gonna be happy. Definitely gonna have to give this movie here a 5 out of 10. 5 out of 10 I think is fair. Uh, it's not a horrible movie. Uh, you can waste your time seeing a lot of other garbage that's out there these days, but 5 out of 10 is fair. I'm gonna go ahead and give this movie here 1 out of 10. You know, Lady Bird as a character, a eh, problem child. Lady Bird as a movie, eh, it sucked. I didn't like it. We here at Who's Review give Lady Bird the overall score of Critical Love. Now, it's an indie film that has a lot of amazing performances from all of its actors, and it's already gotten a lot of buzz, a lot of praise from film critics. It's probably just not going to win over the other mainstream films that are competing against it. Now, it's a film definitely worth seeing at least once, just because of its beautiful performance and emotional storytelling, but um, it's not for everyone. What do you think of our review? Do you have your own? Let us know. Comment below in the comment section, of course, and go ahead and like. Put the thumbs up there on the video. Subscribe to our channel so you can see all of the future reviews coming out here on Who's Review. And of course, if you don't mind, share it on Facebook. Thanks for checking us out here at Who's Review, and we'll see you guys next time.